Happy Turtle Tuesday. I'm Judith Hogue here with a special pre-recorded live report. Welcome to April's April Takeover. Every Tuesday for the month of April, I'll be coming to you with exclusive behind the scenes reports on what the heck is happening with the making of my action figure. Now, as you guys know, I am making an action figure, the very first April O'Neil action figure in the likeness of me with NECA. And you guys have been asking what's going on? When are we going to get this? And we are coming to you with this special report and three more following to let you know what we're up to. Last year, NECA came to me and asked me if I was interested in collaborating on an action figure. Well, I said, I'm in. And then I asked them, would they be interested in letting me document the process that I could share with you guys, the fans, the greatest fans in the whole world. And they said they were in. And so we were off to the races. When the studio is coming together to start a new uh, action figure, they have to start sourcing their reference materials. So in the case of me, what they did is they started looking at old magazines, at trading cards, at behind the scenes photos, press releases, and they looked at the Blu-ray, um, which was kind of challenging for them because the filmmakers shot the film very dark, which was intentional. But when you're looking um, historically, when you're looking backwards and you're trying to look at things like fabrics and textures and colors, um, it's pretty difficult in a dark uh, print. So that's where I come in and I'm able to fill in the gaps with their research. I can go into my archives, I can provide them with photographs, I can look at things that they're in development with and say, no, the texture, it's, it's not hanging right, or the texture's a little off, or this is more of what the pattern was like. I was able to um, show them, these are the earrings that I wore in the film, so I was able to photograph these, and they could do a perfect replica of what my earrings look like. Now, as you can see, the neck of figures, they're really accurate, and when I look at this figure and I see you know, the detail in it. I mean, this is exactly the Ninja Turtle uh, that I worked with in the film. And so this level and attention to detail is so crucial. So there was so much and continues to be so many texts and emails and Zoom calls and communication that we do uh, throughout the months um, to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So once that's coming together, then they start with the rough out sculpt which is done in Castelline, which is a hard wax that a lot of the NECA sculptors use. Now, I feel really fortunate because Adrian Smith did the majority of the April figure, of my April figure, and uh, she has done some of the greatest women action figures for NECA, so I felt like it was a huge honor and that I was in such incredible company. She also, it turns out, she is extremely cool, has a really interesting story. It's been such a pleasure to get to know her. Um, while she's working on that, um, Randy Falk, who is VP and Chief Creative Officer, as well as brand manager, Trevor Zamet. They are working on coming up with a list of all the different accessories, which then they give to the fabricators and the model makers to make sure um, that that process uh, moves into development. And it's really, it's just this incredibly collaborative um, art form, really. And as Stephen Mazurek, who is the photographer for Netka, explained it to me, he said, it's like a relay race. You know, somebody starts with the baton and they pass it to the next person and they pass it to the next person and they pass it to the next person. And it's really everybody's artistic contribution that creates these beautiful figures. It's a whole really fascinating world. And so I wanna take you into this world that I'm discovering and there'll be three more episodes that follow after this, and we will hopefully give you a little snapshot of what's going on behind the scenes. Meanwhile, if you want to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram at Judith Hogue Official, on YouTube at Judith Hogue Goddess on Fire, and on TikTok uh, at, at Judith Hogue, where I make some very lame TikTok videos. I look forward to seeing you next week, and for this week, this is Judith Hogue signing off.